What is up here, YouTube? Jigsaw0097 here, just making another quick video. Um, I was in the car just kind of making that instant reaction video, which you might have already watched. I'm going to upload that one first, but um, this is just going to be kind of an analysis of what I think about the team now going forward. Um, now, keep in mind, the Vikings lost today to the Carolina Panthers, so that puts them at 10-3 and three. with this Eagles win over the Rams. Um, that puts them at 11 and 2. So the Eagles are the top of the NFC again. Um, they have they have basically secured their playoff spot and they are top seed in the NFL right or in the NFC right now. However, um, this win has come at a cost. Like I said in my previous video, um, Carson Wentz getting injured. We don't know how big that's going to be because um, he really is like the it factor that the Eagles have had all season. Ever since this kid came to Philadelphia, the Eagles have been something special, and losing him cannot be understated. Um, that being said, um, this is kind of just more of a hope video, because if he is injured, guys, just remember, like I said, we have Nick Foles on the team. And really, Nick Foles, we know what he can do. This team can carry him, guys. I mean, our defense is good enough, and Nick Foles is good enough that he can he can throw a really good ball. He's not mobile like Carson Wentz, obviously, so um, a lot of that's going to be out of play, but he's not the bad quarterback that we saw in the Rams. Um, when he was on the Eagles, he should have never been traded for Sam Bradford. Chip Kelly was a freaking idiot, so we just got to, you know, roll the Foles train again. We used to say, in Foles we trust, you know, like things like that. So bring that back to Philadelphia because... Um, this basically this is kind of um, just a video of what I see going forward so if Carson Wentz is injured and it's not severe God forbid um, I'm I'm anticipating that he'll probably be out most of the rest of the season if not the rest of the season until the playoffs and we remember we got the Giants we got the Raiders and we got the Cowboys coming up we can easily win those games um, with Nick Foles obviously there's no question in my mind so we can finish the season realistically um, 14 and 2. That's that's a total possibility at this point. And depending on what the other teams do, that might secure home field advantage. Just depends on what it is. Now, I'm not understating the Giants or the Cowboys games because those are division games, and um, they're going to probably just try to crap on our party. You know, they're going to be one of those teams that they're going to treat those games like the Super Bowl, where they're going to come really intense. I mean, the rest of the games are going to be intense. The Raiders game will probably be pretty intense, but. I just see the Eagles overall as a better team than all three of these teams that we play. So there's no reason why I think any of them should lose um, in those games. So that being said, though, if we do go into the playoffs, worst case scenario that Carson Wentz is not injured or is injured and he's going to be out for the whole season, um, we're just going to have to hope and pray that Nick Foles can get it done. I mean, he was in the playoffs with us before. That really was more of a whole team collapse than it was Nick Foles back then. So we had guys like Kerry Williams, Bradley Fletcher, Nolan Carroll, um, Nate Allen. You know, these we had these like that was when our secondary was like legitimate trash, guys. Like you got to remember how much we've improved. Even if you guys say like Jalen Mills, he's not that he's not as good as he could be. He's leagues better than anyone the Eagles had back in 2013, last time we made a playoff push. So. Um, I just think Foles can get it done, and this is going to be basically where you guys are going to see how, well, you guys are going to remember how good he is. Um, I really do hope Carson Wentz comes back, though, because he was having a great season, and I just love watching the guy. He's easily my favorite Eagle now, so um, God bless Carson Wentz. I hope you're okay. hope you can come back and play um, this season. But anyway, guys, that's kind of going to be the game, or that's going to be the video, just kind of telling you, keep hope with the Eagles. Um, and if you like this video, I'll be making more videos in the future. You can subscribe to my channel and uh, like or dislike the video, whichever you want. But as always, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching the video. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles. Remember that. Don't give up hope.